by profession a doctor is a doctor that's what he do he goes to medical school but really performing his profession the work of his profession is he is doing surgery he is seeing people he is helping people he's doing all kind of things as the work of his profession are y'all understanding that so what i want you to take a look at today because walking this thing i want you to really hear what i'm saying because when we talk about patience because if you have been studying your bible if you understand how church work and if you know the things we've been teaching here and the things I've been preaching and you've been studying your Bible, you should be looking to see how big God made this thing called patience. Because everything that he talks about, the sign of an apostle and much patience. Everything we go through, we have to do it with much patience. The first thing is always having patience. So there's a reason why God keeps talking to us about patience. So I want to make, I want to understand, because I'm just going, I want to get this out of me here this morning to try to make you understand it because I've been talking to God about this all week and then all morning. When you talk about patience, here, let me, let me put it this way. There are a lot of scholars, biblical scholars that I know, guys who went to Bible school and have degrees and doctorates, and they always have this discussion about James and Paul when it comes to the thing of faith. Stay with me. James said that faith without works is dead being alone. Some say, Paul say, all you need is faith. So they have this discussion going on that why would James say faith needs work and why Paul is saying that faith don't need work. But when we look at it now, these are things we got to talk about because James said, listen, if you have faith, he used Abraham, he used Rahab, he used the harlot. I know some of y'all don't believe she in the Bible. She did. That was Jesus' bloodline, a prostitute. Someone say amen. 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 That's the truth anyway. So he, he, he was saying, if you're going to have faith, then you got to put some works to it. And they had discussions, and I've been sitting in discussions where people say, why is James and Paul different? That's why I thank God so much for Revelation. Because Paul said the same thing in another way. Come on, come on. Paul says now, if you want to walk in these promises, you got to do it with faith and... Uh-huh. So James said faith without... Works. Okay. But Paul said you need faith and... So if you take patience, then put it where works is, Paul said, and in faith and the right kind of works if you want to see your inheritance. Come on, come on, come on. Right now. Go ahead. Come on, say amen. amen. Because it's not going to automatically happen. There's something that God wants us to do. It's not the works of the flesh. He said, let us labor to enter into rest. So we're supposed to be laboring to enter into his rest. And that's what patience is all about. Patience is my employment. Come on. Patience is the work of my faith. Am I preaching good here? Yes. If I'm going to be employed in the kingdom, it's going to be my patience. That's the works of my faith. Because I, my faith says that I believe that God is able to do it. My faith says I trust him to do it. My faith says I haven't promised. But now, it's been on this journey as he's preparing me, someone say amen. It's going to look really bad sometimes. So patience is going to keep me connected. So if I'm going to do any work, is I'm not going to call nobody. I'm not going to try to have another program. I'm not going to try to have a meeting. I'm going to use my patience. I know I stand alone on this, and, I, and I'm okay with that. Let me say it again. I've tried all the other things. Come I've on. tried the extra service. I've tried making friends. I've tried all these other things. And God is clearly telling me, the way that you work in this kingdom is through your patience. Amen. Because patience is active waiting. Remember, patience said that I still believe God. Patience said that I'm holding on to my destiny. I'm holding on to my calling. Remember the teaching now. Your calling is God's purpose. We are called according to his purpose. So if I'm holding on to what God told me, I keep asking you, what did he tell you? It doesn't matter what it looks like right now. That's why he gave you patience. So that while you're waiting for what he said, even you didn't set your time and then come to pass, you got a word of prophecy didn't come to pass, you got to believe that if God said it in this eternal calendar, it's going to manifest on the day appointed according to the time of life. Yes. And the thing that he gave us to make sure we hold on for another till we get there is patience. So if I'm going to do any work today, even though the enemy tells me I'm a fool, and order, even though the enemy says God forgot me, am I here by myself? Even though the enemy saying that you miss God, the whole the thing that you have to do is understand that there's nothing but darks. They're lies. He's a liar from the beginning, and the Father going to lie. But God gave you a job, and that job is your patience, and your patience is your believing. We also believe, therefore, speak. So when, when in the midst of no matter what you're going through, that's what I like about Job. Don't say nothing against what God said or what who God is. That's true. You may complain that if your head hurt, but don't let don't 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 say God making your head hurt. No. So if He making my head hurt, He got a plan for it. Don't get mad. You're not talking about this here. You have to stay focused on the fact that He gave you patience. He gave you joy to say no matter what you go through, no matter how bad it gets, you keep believing what I said. I told you before the difference between Job and Abraham is that Job had patience without a promise because we don't know his promise. 
The only promise God made to, to, to somebody that uh, concerned Job was loosely told him, I don't care what you do, he's still going to serve me. Amen. But I don't know what he told Job, but I know he told Abraham, I've made you a great nation. I'll make your name great. I've got sons and daughters. So he promised him something. The difference between Abraham and Job for me, the mention is that Job didn't have a focus of his faith that we know of. Come on. Abraham had a focus of his faith because he had a promise. And it must be a faith that I'm able to be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed. Now I have some things here I want to talk to you about because I really want us to not get excited. I want you to understand what you're going through. Remember, I just told you, faith and patience is what you need. But Jane put it as faith and works. Come on. So when, when I just read you the scripture that said the profession, and one of the one of the revelations of it in one of the other Bibles said the confession of my hope. So when I'm having patience, I'm confessing my hope. Yes. I'm teaching good, y'all. So if I'm living by patience, it's no mean I'm only waiting. I'm waiting in the midst of hell and high water, but I'm confessing my hope. Yes. And where did my hope come from? The promise of God. Mm -hmm. So I'm speaking in agreement with God. We have the same spirit of faith. We also believe, therefore, speak. That's why Jesus said, and I believe it's Matthew chapter 12, verse 34, 35. He said, every idle word that you speak out of your mouth, you should give an account of the day of judgment. For by your words, you are, you, you, will you be justified? By your words, will you be condemned? So, and the word idle means unemployment. So when I'm speaking anything, I know this hard for us. When I'm speaking anything other than what God said, I'm unemployed in the kingdom. Amen. 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 Am I talking good here? Yes. It's not easy to speak what God said when you feel contrary, when things look contrary, when the enemy is lying to you, when everything seems like it's going astray. It's not easy for you to stand working, but I guarantee you if you want a job, no matter how bad your head hurts, no matter how crazy the people in your house get, you get up and go to work. Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. amen. Because if you understand kingdom employment, you'll understand I don't care what they do, how I feel, what it takes, I gotta still keep saying the right thing. Amen. That's true. Amen. Okay. That's true. I preach it really good. Because what's gonna matter for in my life is what I say. Amen. And we can't seem to get this down in people's heart and people's spirit that in God's kingdom what you say is far more important than what you do. Amen. And I, I know it don't sound good. I know it does not sound good, but it's still the truth. It, me saying the right thing is way more important than me doing the right thing in your eyes. Because doing the right thing in your eyes, I gotta be doing something different every time I see somebody different. Come on, because what's right for you, not right for them. What's right for them, not right for you. So what God wants me to do, Panetta, is be careful what I'm saying out of my mouth. Amen. I don't want to get into the next week's message, but I even started working on next week's message already. You and I gotta understand the works are complete. The works are finished. God's not mad with you. He's not trying to punish you. He said, listen, I sent the Holy Spirit to you to do a work in you to manifest my kingdom. I need you to do two things. Love people, have faith. Patience is the work of faith. So I'm a person of faith and I'm exercising patience on a daily basis. Oh God, I feel like preaching anyway. Now here's what I want to talk about. Patience, patience, Panetta, is the confession of my hope. So when I'm dealing with patience, all hell break loose. God told me I'm a millionaire. Seems like all my money dried up. I'm still confessing I'm a millionaire. Amen. 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 He told me I'm healed. The doctor gave me a bad report. I'm still confessing I'm healed. Yes. Because I know that a day appointed is going to be made manifest. Yes. I gave you all my testimony already. All I can do, such as I have, give I unto you. I spoke myself off of drugs. I put the confession before God at the Septic Treatment Center. I spoke myself into healing when they told me I had hepatitis C. I spoke myself into healing when they told me I had chronic kidney disease. I spoke myself into not going to the dentist when I didn't have insurance, when I had two things. I have witnesses on these things. So you have to understand that if you believe what God said, the confession of your hope becomes your patience. And the confession of your hope and your patience is directly connected to your faith. I don't believe I'm doing this right because y'all ain't talking about that. So, so you understand, are you all understand what I'm saying? Yes. When you are speaking out of words, what the enemy wants to do is, when God is processing you, he wants to come put pressure on you, Job. Even though God said, have you tried my servant, Job? Mm -hmm. God knew in the end, I'm going to give him double. Yes. But the enemy wants to show up and put pressure on you. to get you to speak against your God. Come they on. get you to speak against his process. Come they on. get you to speak against your faith. Yes. And the thing about it is, we don't talk about this enough in church that people doing it every day while they dance. Come we doing it every day. We want to see something different. And if we don't see it in one month, we frustrated, we upset, and we want to walk away because we're tired of God, we're tired of church. But everybody that God has used had to endure a long process. Somebody say amen. Amen. So I want to talk this morning about this, my topic, all I did already heard before. Patience is a life of, of acceptance and contentment. 
The Bible, this is my message for today. The Bible said godliness with contentment is great gain. Let me say it again. Remember we went to the scriptures last year? 